Hey guys, it's Patty. We're here to show you how to do a DIY of a mouse pad. Uh, Lydia is tracing a circle on a... Uh, I forgot the name of it. A uh, scrapbook paper. There you go. So she's tracing the circle. Uh, the cork board that we got was actually from Walmart. We got it at a... Um, the kitchen section where they have uh, the pot stands so that was a good idea instead of cutting it and it's pretty thick too uh, this is what we're using we cut out little pieces of, of things of a magazine so we could do a collage and we are gonna use Mod Podge pretty cheap a small little bottle we got it at Michaels and I bought these brushes, paint brushes at Dollar Tree. So Lydia's cutting the circle now, making sure to do it very slow so it could come out exactly the circle that we need. So she had the idea of doing the scrapbook paper. I just wanted to do it straight to the cork board, but we needed a sort of a background because we know we weren't gonna fill it up with the magazine pieces. Excuse the airplane passing by. I'm very close to LAX, so we hear this every day, all day. So yeah, she's cutting it away. Okay, she's got it. So that's our piece. That's the color we chose, the scrap of paper. Now what she's gonna do is she's gonna make sure it fits. Okay, I guess she did a good job. And then she's gonna, we used a sheet protector. We used one side of the sheet protector. She's also tracing it to make the circle to cut it. That plastic we're gonna use at the end after we paste the scrapbook paper, after we paste all the pieces of the magazine to do the collage and then we're gonna we're gonna put this plastic and so this one's a little more difficult you probably need uh, if you're too small uh, you're probably gonna need your mom or your dad to help you because it's really tricky to cut this um, Lydia did a really good job I think I would have done not too good because I told Lydia that I really don't like to cut anything I remember since I was a little kid, I wasn't into cutting or anything like that. But Lydia is a pro. So she was doing it very slowly. And also I need glasses, so I wouldn't be able to see the line that she traced. So she's almost there. I love her nails. Look at her. Glitter nails. And she's almost got it. Mmm. I sort of helped her, so you're going to see my hands in there, too. Okay, so now she's putting Mosh Posh. And what we noticed is that the Mosh Posh was getting, um, it was getting, um, the corkboard was absorbing the Mosh Posh really quick. So she had to do it really, really fast. So she was just trying it. She tried it once, but she saw that the corkboard was absorbing it too fast. So just press on it hard. What we used is my laptop. I didn't know what else to use. So I used my laptop to press on it hard and then it stick to it. So then we started putting the pieces on little by little, all of them. And just however you want to do your collage. Um, I put a, a lot of different words. Um, I put some lips there with, you know, different color lipsticks. I put Marilyn Monroe because I love Marilyn Monroe. I put um, different brands and now what she's doing is she's putting more Mod Podge on top of the pictures. She put uh, when she put the the paper she put Mod Podge so we could stick the little pieces to to the paper and then she put more Mod Podge on top so we could stick the clear plastic that she cut. So she's doing it. She just has to make sure she has every little piece of it. 
and fix the pictures because I think we had to wait uh, a little longer before we started putting Mod Posh on top of the pictures. So we were very um, um, excited to do it and we didn't wait. So now she's putting the sheet protector on top of the pictures. Make sure you press on it. Make sure you put something heavy overnight. Um, I did my laptop. I didn't find anything else that was heavier. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. And um, don't forget to subscribe.